This is the three lessons I learned through writing a song that got 35,000 monthly listeners within three weeks of my release. This was the very first single that I ever put out with my new artist project. Here are the lessons that I learned through producing and writing this song. The first lesson that I learned is get to your hooks faster. Make sure that something is happening right away to hook people in the song as soon as possible. Max Martin is a super famous producer. If you don't know him, look him up. He has helped produce more number one hits than any other producer on the planet. And one of his rules is to get to the chorus as soon as possible. Namely, within 30 seconds of starting the song, you should be hitting that hook. And so that's one of the things that I implemented to try to get to the hooks faster in my songs. And that definitely helped getting more traction on Spotify. So specifically on playlists, if you get people wrapped into your song right away at the very beginning, then they're much more likely to stick around for at least that 30 seconds, get that stream count, but also they're going to be drawn into the song and likely say and be much more likely to save it, add to add it to their own private playlists and stream it again and again. The second lesson I learned by getting 35,000 monthly listeners on Spotify in the first three weeks of my release is melody is stickier than lyrics. You have a song and you play it for somebody for the first time and they can't repeat the hook back to you, you probably still have some work to do. You want to make your hook so catchy that that, that is just stuck in their head all day long. You want to be able to repeat it enough during the song that people can then express it back to you. So you both need a really catchy hook, but also a hook that is repeated throughout the song. One way that I did this in this song was actually to test my hook. What I did was I used what I call a pizza parlor test. This is running ads to strangers to see how how compelling my melody actually is. So I had a demo version of the song. I ran it as some ads to test engagement with those. And I was able to then determine, first of all, which song was going to perform the best. And then secondly, what actual melody was going to be the most compelling for people to listen to. That essentially guaranteed that my melody was super catchy with strangers before I even produced the song, let alone released the song. Basically, I never have to worry about what my single is ever going to be for any project I ever release in the future. I know what my single is going to be because other people tell me what's the most catchy song that has the most market potential. So I just go with that. If you want to see exactly how I go about that pizza parlor test, then I created a free guide on exactly how to do that. Click that link right below in the description of this video. There's a page where you can get that free guide on how I do actually do these pizza parlor tests to and to test my song. Third thing I did is I simplified the story of the song. I rewrote the verses of this song, I think three times and, you know, made adjustments to the chorus as needed. That was all in an effort to really nail down the single storyline that was going throughout the whole song. Oftentimes we want to get creative. And so we start adding in these other storylines and then it just confuses and waters down the song. If you have that, then just write multiple songs. This kind of also goes along with the production. I tried to keep the production also as simple as possible to emphasize the song, emphasize the story, but without getting in the way of the story. So not overproducing the song as well. So those are my three lessons that I learned by getting 35,000 monthly listeners in three weeks. And hopefully some of this rang a bell for you. Again, if you're interested in that pizza parlor test method that I'm using to test the hooks of my songs, there's a link to that guide in the description. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.